You will never, ever believe what Danny told me last night. What? Go on. Totally amazing. Becky, what? Tracy collapsed in his hotel and was rushed into hospital when? What? The day before, she reckons that I pushed her down the stairs and she lost the babies. No. Tell me you're not joking. Here, there's folk that are better at cracking jokes than me, kid. <sighs> nice one, Danny boy. But you're over the moon. Well, it ain't all good. Why? You should have been emigrating. Danny? Barbados. Oh, you're joking. Tell you. Many a fella runs for ills after a date with me, but this one's going long haul. You must be one rubbish kisser. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Got time for a couple then? Yeah. Mm. Um, Queen Rihanna from Barbados. Oh, I'm up Your project's gone cold. Faye? You've missed morning registration, you know. What's your teacher gonna say? You like your teacher. I'm missing work because of you, madam. Right, Porridge is going to make friends with Mr. Bin. Do you hear me, Faye? Faye? Are you all right up there? You too. See you then. Bye. Who's that on the phone? Big Sue from the station. Hey, I'll never guess what. Um, they've made your chief inspector like off time. What's it? Evil. Suspect. No, they haven't. But the even better news is your team has changed the statement. It's not my Tina. It's not anybody's Tina. She's alone to herself at home. <laughs> Tell me about it. Uh, what, what, what do you mean, though, that she's changed it? Oh, don't get me wrong. I'll still be investigating for the crash, all that's ongoing, but... <clears throat> you know how I feel about this? Oh, well, she's changed the statement. But what? I'm not suspended anymore. Oh, well, that's a good thing, isn't it? I mean, that's what you've been hoping for. I can go back to work, though they'll probably have me on the desk job for now. Yeah, well, that's OK. It's probably for the best, you know, with the baby and everything. Mm -hmm. I didn't join the force so I could sit on my backside all day long answering the phone. If I wanted to do that, I could have worked in a call centre. Well, it's better than nothing, isn't it? It's better than being in some cute the social. I know, you're right. And I know I should be over the moon, sorry. Has this got anything to do with you? I had a word, like. Thanks, Tommy. Thank you. Rock on, Tommy. Mm. <laughs> I don't believe you. I'm not lying. Not you, sat there with a gob on you. You should be hanging out the flags. This proves you're innocent. To who, though? <coughs> to Steve. You've got to tell Steve. You've just got to. No. He'll just say that I'm lying. No one's going to believe me without proof, Kylie. I'll just end up looking like the lying cow that they all think I am anyway. Yeah, I wish Danny had never even told me now. It'll be on her medical records. If you go to the hospital, they have to tell your doctor, don't they? They must do. If you can get your hands on her medical records, it ain't gonna be you that looks like the liar. It'll be that little twit. Look, look I've got to go anyway, cos I've got some acrylic nails in five, but meet me later, yeah, and we'll work out what to do. How am we gonna get my hands on her medical records, though? I know my look. Flipping hospital, what we've even told the doctor, so what's the point? She is calling you for all sorts. They all are. We'll soon wipe the smirk off their faces. I'll see you later, Ian. Okay. Everything all right? Oh, I, yeah, never better, Harrison. Um... Open the door, Faye. Faye, unlock this door now. Oh, come on, love. You've been in this room all morning. I'll do your egg and chips. Listen, Faye. I'm sorry. About what? Uh, I'm sorry I hit you. It, it's just that you... You really made me angry, love. And I am only human. Believe it or not. Leave me and my mother alone. Oh, who in love? She's been there all day, staring into space. I've fed more to know what more can I do? That's such a mess, isn't it? It seems like everyone still thinks she's a wrong and balls. You're not going to say we're wrong, are you? Oh, no, no. I'm used to feeling that my beliefs are out of sync with the world. I am out of sync with the world. All right, Hayley, don't upset yourself. Well, the world's wrong. You and I both know that. How do we demonstrate that? 
I don't know. I suppose we just have to try and persuade people that she's decent. Uh, just a white coffee, please, Roy. Certainly. I know it's not easy, but... What's that? Oh, sorry, I was just talking to Roy. Oh, right. I, I was just saying, you know, Becky. She's not had much luck in life, bless her. Hey! Nosy owl. The fella's emigrating. Go on, have a laugh. Not surprised he's moving away. Must have heard what he did to poor Tracy. The only thing that I've done to Barlow is give her evils, Webster. And what does evils mean, exactly? Push a pregnant woman down a set of stairs? Nice. I'm not sure this spin doctoring's working. She wasn't even pregnant. Uh, ladies, if we could just take the heat out of the situation. Uh, what white was it, uh, Yes, yes. Do you know what, Roy? Forget the coffee, cos I'd only chuck it over her head. Clutching at straws is such a bad luck. Oh, go sleep with a rapist. So, how was your brother, then? Oh, he's on the men, thank God. Hey, you did remember to pick Fate from school, oh, didn't you? Oh, how's your poor sister-in-law? Owen? Right? I didn't need to. Why? She didn't go to school, love. Is she poor, No, no. But I didn't want to trouble you, but... What is it? What's happened? We had words last night. You and Faye? What about? Well, she did something daft. Well, <laughs> worse than daft. What did she do? You know, the fish died. Well, Faye poisoned them. She did what? Yeah, I thought it was David and Kylie, but... Hey, Mum, is this true, Faye? What? You poisoned Owen's fish? I, I don't believe this! I've not been back five minutes! I, just, I give up! I just give up! Can you believe she said that? I don't really know the woman. She has the cheek to look down her nose at me, and she's seeing that Frank! So what are you going to do? Smash her face in? Put a brick through a window? What? Well, I have a plan that will silence the likes of Sally Webster for good. Go on. To be fair, it was your idea in the first place. Why am I starting to get worried? I wait until it's dark. Uh, it's dark now. Don't be a drama queen. And then I break into the medical centre. There's a fire door around the back. I just went and had a look. Do you not think you're in enough trouble as it is? Hello. This was your idea in the first place. I never said break into the medical centre. Well, what's the alternative? Go in and ask nicely. Hey! Tracy Barlow's medical records. Could I just please have a little quick shifty? Yeah, right, like, that's going to work. They're alarmed, them places. The bosses will be on it in no time. What's the alternative, Kylie? Sit back and do nothing because I am sick of it. I am sick of everything, of her, of waking up every morning and it all going downhill from there. I'm sick of trying my hardest and no matter what I do, it is just worth jack enough. So, if you don't want to be a part of this right now, then that's absolutely fine. But you know, I thought we were mates now. No, we are, but I just... There's no buts about it. You sit back and you wait for people around here to find out that they're wrong about me. But I tell you something, girl, you'll be waiting a very long time. You are being stupid. You were going to get altitude sickness up there on your moral high ground. You're an hypocrite. You have got too much to lose, Becky. Like what? I've lost Maxie. I've lost Stevie. Now I've lost Danny. What is there left? My reputation? Come on, don't make me laugh. Upset, she's poisoned your fish. Yeah, and I've dealt with it. You know, who was I trying to kid thinking I could bring a kitty up on my own? You're not on your own, love. An adopted kid at that with her own set of problems. Oh, I really had myself down as the big I am, didn't I? You're being too hard on yourself. And do you want to know why? Because I was never really good at anything at school. I didn't understand maths. I couldn't write a poem to save my life. And when we had to draw a picture of our mams in art class, the teacher goes, Oh, they're big curls, Anna. And I went, They were rollers, miss. 
and the face she pulled. Anna, darling, honest... One thing, one thing that I thought that I was good at was bringing up kids. I can do that, I thought. I was good with our Gary, and well, look how he's turned out. Gary's a credit to you. Arrogance. That's what it was. Adopted kid, yeah, bring it on. That's because I thought it was as good as everyone else, if not better. And now look at the mess we're in. Now, listen, you, you are an amazing woman and an amazing mother. And never, ever think any different. So why is she playing up like this? Well, whatever it is, it's not your fault. Listen, something happened. It's, so whose fault is it? A birth mothers, social services, foster carers? No. No, the book stops here. Yeah. Look, I've, uh, I've got to go to work for a bit, all right? Go, then. And when I come back, I want you snapped out of this dodgy mood, all right? It's not right, it's not you. So, I want that frown turned around. We'll sell this together, all right? Everything will be fine. If you say so. Oh, I do, sweetheart. I do. All right? I'll see you later. Are you all right? Yeah, fine. Um, Are you sure about that? Huh? Whatever's the matter now? I hear it being a grass. It's better to me on sister, but... Oh, Carly, what's Becky done now? No, yeah, but I better think she's about to do something really mental. Hi. Hi, Riley. Hey, Leslie. Hello. Uh, I got you coffee. This is who we've been waiting for. How are you, Leslie? Good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. How's the other one? Sorry? Your friend. Oh, what's her name? You know. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's great. Oh, good. Is Margaret coming? No, I don't really know Margaret. Margaret's not coming back, I've told you, love. How's your friend? Yeah. She's good. <laughs> she can't quite get her head round it. I'm going to see the care people tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to do. What, with uh, Leslie? Where's Margaret? I, I don't know, love. <laughs> Nobody knows. She's not coming back, love. I've told you. You don't tell me anything. I do. Look, don't shout me down, but I could look after Leslie while you've got your meeting. You know, I want to. I just want to be able to help. No, you can't do that. I'm probably owed some leave anyway. I'm not having you out of pocket. What if it'd help? Is Margaret not coming? Oh, no, love, I'm sorry, she's not. Will you just think about it, please? Where is she? She's left, love. Why? She's moved to North Wales. He never tells me anything. Typical man, eh? Oh, <laughs> you got that right. How's your friend? One. Stop this, it's madness. Go away, Royston. Look, I'm armed and I'm dangerous. And off your head. <laughs> Great when you find out your sister's a grass. But it's not like I call the cop, is it? Shut up! Do one, or I'll get nicked. Look, you spent years trying to prove you're not some sort of reprobate. Stop chucking big words at me, Roy! But you've changed. You do this now. You prove everyone's suspicions. <laughs> Bottom of the slagging way! Oh, please, let us go now while we've got the chance. You're playing into their hands. I need those records, Royston. Let, let me. us go now, please. Let it come on. You all right? I am. What can I get you? Um, pint for me and an orange juice. Orange juice, please. Right up. Tina, um. I just wanted to say thank you for uh, changing the story with the police. I really appreciate it. Didn't do it for you, did it for him. Well, we both think it was really cool of you, don't we? Really, really cool. That's me all over, innit? Coolness personified. I must be mad. Now, I know we got off on the wrong foot, you and me, but I was thinking maybe it's time we let bygones be bygones and 
Start fresh. Well, Nate's talking about that. But... Right, let me um, let me get one thing straight, Kirsty. Okay. I don't like you. I've never liked you. And unless someone whacks me round the head and I have a complete personality change, I'm never going to like you. You've made that clear. So if it's a new best mate you're after, you better sit down, get your wool out, and knit yourself a glow. I don't knit. Maybe you should start. Four ninety, please. Yeah, I got back about an hour ago. Yeah, everything's fine. Oh, and it was lovely to see you too. You will give us a shout with this out you need. Promise. All right, love. Yeah, I'll give you a bell tomorrow. Oh, and you. Yeah, see you around then, love. See ya. Where's Owen? Never you mind where's Owen. I'm in such a bad mood with you. Has he gone out? What's he got to do with you? Has he? Yes. He's popped to the builder's yard because he's missed a whole day's work. I wonder why that is. Sorry. Yeah, well, sorry's not good enough. And crocodile tears, they don't wash with me. You've never liked that man and you need to get over it. I hate his guts. I know! And that poor fella's only ever been decent and civil with you. He's tried his hardest and look how you've repaid him! He's horrible! He's not! He's a good man! You're just not used to meeting him. He hit me! You what? He hit me! Faye? Faye! Well, so they obviously got in here, then. Yeah. Nothing missing, though. I don't know, maybe I frightened him off. I was over here pretty damn quick. Probably kids after drugs. I don't know, what's the world coming to? The doctor's on his way? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go through everything with him, make sure there's nothing I've missed. I think you need to improve your security. What happened to the days when you could leave your door on the latch and go out? You didn't get kids on drugs when I was a nipper. Remember it was all fields, do you? Sorry, officer, I appear to be turning into my mother. I'll come back in the morning, double check nothing was taken. And you got your crime reference number? Yeah, and thank you for coming so quickly. I think you should give yourself a pat on the back for acting so fast. Oh, I'll mention that to my boss tomorrow. He might give me a pay rise. Leave it with me. I'll see you, Mrs. Barlow. Ta da! What do you think of it here, Leslie? I want to go home. I know. You're going to go home in a bit. Here's your juice, Leslie. Say thank you. It's all right. I don't want it. You did ask for it. I want to go home. I know. And we will go home in a bit, don't worry. What do you reckon about coming here again? Tomorrow? Where am I? Uh, this is my house, Leslie. Oh, is that for me? Yeah. Ta. As you can see, it's, um, it's a bit full on. You're right. I am going out of my mind, Eileen. I've been off work for two weeks. God, I miss the lads as well. Mind you, at least there's something at work to take my mind off it a bit, but... I'm sure you'll find a carer soon. I hope so. Oh, no! Oh. Um, it's all right, Leslie. I've, I've, I've got a towel. Oh. It's OK. Thank you. Thank you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, Hi, love. Is it true? What? Did you hit Faye? You don't know what she was like, love. Oh, I don't care what she was like. You have no right, no right to come into my house and go hitting my kids. Do I make myself clear? Well, maybe I overreacted, but I... <laughs> do you have any idea why she's ended up in the care system? Well, I hey, do you? No, I don't remember just... Because a mum and a mum's boyfriend used to knock ten bells out of her, that's why. Well, how am I supposed to know that? I'm supposed to be giving her a better life here, not more of the same, you idiot! Sorry. <laughs> How would you like it if I went round your house and started hitting your is it? Well, that is a your bit, That is a bit different, Liz. How's it different? Well, because... Oh, do you know, actually, I'm not interested, Owen. You disgust me. That's a bit harsh. Oh, you reckon that's harsh, do you? Well, watch out, Sunshine, because you ain't saying nothing yet. Get out. Anna babe. I, Anna babe me. I said, get out, and I mean it! Danny told me Tracy collapsed in his hotel the day before. She reckons that I pushed her down the stairs and she miscarried. He phoned for the ambulance and everything. Do you 
want to smoke a bit stronger than tea. This is not a public house. Oh, we might have a drop of brandy upstairs. No, no, I'll only drink myself into oblivion, won't I? I said a drop. I know that I shouldn't have broken it to the medical centre, but what else could I do? It's off its head, innit? Uh, well, there must be something more positive and proactive to be done, surely. And, you know, so what if I get caught? I've got nothing left to lose. I've got everything to gain. Not by committing criminal acts, you haven't. No. We have to stay positive, Lord. <laughs> it's just so easy for you to say. Oh, is it? Well, I expect you think I like it when you bring trouble to our door. I suppose you think I get off on seeing someone so upset, someone I care deeply about, someone who I love. No, don't. No, I don't find it easy, Becky. <laughs> but the good thing is... The really good thing about it is, is that the truth is out there now. Tracy's lies will definitely come on to roost. They have to. Barlow is going to win again. <laughs> and yet again, I am never going to clear my name. <sighs> <laughs> can I do for you? We've come to inform you that uh, we're reopening the investigation into Amanda's oh, death. No. Law and Order UK is tomorrow night at nine. We are here for humankind because they are that close. We cannot let them down. We cannot. I cannot. The Angel Lawyers are back. Eternal Law is next. <laughs>